This video shows the reason for shielding gas waste and a way to fix it. Two published articles state the average MIG welder uses from three to over five times the amount of shielding gas needed. One quotes a proxy representative saying their shop surveys confirm the five-fold waste figure. The other article states the blast of gas at the weld start is a major cause of waste. This MIG system has a 15-foot gas delivery hose. The pressure gauge is placed in the delivery hose to show the pressure changes while welding. While welding, the pressure is 3.5 psi. When welding stops, gas continues to flow into the gas hose until it reaches up to 80 psi. When welding starts again, the pressure returns to the low 3.5 psi. That high pressure stores considerable extra gas. What happens to that excess stored gas? It blasts out of the MIG gun nozzle at every pull of the gun trigger. We've measured peak flows exceeding 200 CFH. Any flow over about 50 to 55 CFH creates turbulence that pulls air into the gas stream. In fact, that turbulence takes time to become smooth lamellar flow even after the flow rate reduces to the preset level. How much excess gas is stored at each weld stop? This table shows that a standard gas cylinder has a physical volume of 1.8 cubic feet, but it holds 308 cubic feet of gas because of the high pressure. An increase in volume in the gas hose also occurs because of the higher pressure. In addition, a standard quarter inch hose expands when pressurized, providing another 13% extra volume. Therefore, the volume of gas in the standard hose when welding stops can be 7.3 times the physical hose volume. Most of this excess blasts out at every weld start. Why is the pressure so high? Flow restrictions occur while MIG welding. Spatter buildup in the nozzle is an obvious problem, but not the main cause. The flow restrictions that occur in the gun cable that doubles as the passage for the wire spiral liner is most vulnerable. It can clog with wire debris like excess drawing lubricant and copper flakes. It also restricts flow as the cable is twisted and bent. Without going into the math, suffice to say that the pressure needed to automatically compensate for these flow restrictions is 25 psi upstream of the flow control. Quality regulator flow meters and typical pipeline gas supplies use 25 PSI or higher pressure. We tested a standard 25 PSI regulator flow meter in a low pressure device designed to guard against gas surge to see how each handled the typical flow restrictions found in production. Gas flow is measured at the gun nozzle and restrictions were then added and removed. These are the test results. As noted on the top line of data, the 25 PSI regulator flow meter maintained the preset 31 CFH over the range of restrictions found in industry with no change in knob setting. On the bottom line is the data from a low pressure gas guard device that eliminated surge but also caused the flow to vary from a low of 16 CFH to a high of 37 CFH when it was set for 31 CFH flow. Of interest, the flow calibrated pressure gauge read 31 CFH for all tests since the pressure didn't change. This gave a false impression of constant flow. Welders often see the consequences of the flow variations and are frustrated or set the overall flow at high levels to compensate. They are often wasting, not saving, shielding gas. There is a simple patented solution to reduce gas waste and improve weld star quality. It uses a custom extruded, very heavy wall, small ID hose, and reduces the volume of gas stored by over 80%. To keep peak flow rate from creating excess turbulence at the weld start, a surge flow limiting orifice is placed in the brass hose fitting on the feeder end. How much gas can be saved with our patented gas saver system? These are two examples. A truck box manufacturer welded 236 parts with one full cylinder of gas using their standard gas delivery hose. Just changing the gas delivery hose to our gas saver system 
they were able to weld 632 of the same part. That's a 63% gas savings. An OEM exhaust manufacturer conducted a black belt lean manufacturing study and with a 6 foot gas saver system found savings ranging from 25 to over 40% depending on the part welded. They purchased 126 systems for all their welding robots. There are many more examples on our website. Thousands of these gas saver systems are in use and have collectively saved fabricators millions of dollars in wasted gas. Reviewing the benefits of the gas saver system, a custom extruded small ID large OD hose reduces stored gas by over 80%. A peak flow limiting orifice in the hose fitting limits turbulence at the start, improving weld start quality. Pressure is not altered, so a controlled amount of shielding gas quickly purges the weld start area. This high pressure retains the ability to compensate for spatter buildup in the nozzle, bent MIG gun cables, etc. The gas saver system has no moving parts to wear, maintain, or adjust. The gas saver system does not interfere with flow settings. Welders appreciate its starting benefits. For more information about our patented gas saver system, or if you want to lock flow settings on your existing flow meter, either on a pipeline supply or cylinder use, see our latest patented product, a flow rate limiter and lock. All are on our website, www.netwelding.com. Thank you.